Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to be moving through a short um, heart opening vinyasa flow. So we're going to get started in a comfortable seat. You don't need any props with you today. All right, so just sitting either cross-legged or with your uh, in Japanese style seat, so knees together sitting on your heels, whatever you prefer. You can also sit on a block if that's more comfortable for you. So yes, no props, but <laughs> if you need some, you're always more than welcome to use them. All right, so we're gonna get started here. Just relax your hands on your knees, close your eyes and start to grow tall through the crown of your head. So really lengthening the spine, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the muscles in the face, and keeping the eyes closed, let's start to tune into the breath. So feeling the breath and the rise and fall of your chest, each inhale lifting the heart space. Each exhale, releasing, releasing any tension that you might be holding on to. And just setting the intention to be open to whatever is to come, to whatever the universe has to offer you. Being open to new experiences, to new emotions and feelings. Take another few breaths here. On your next inhale, let's reach the arms above the head. You can keep your eyes closed. And then as you gaze, as you reach the arms above your head, lift your chin to gaze up towards your thumbs. Feel the heart space lift. And then exhale, we're going to bring the hands to the heart space and round the spine. So bring your chin into chest, hollow the lower belly. Inhale, draw a line all the way up to the ceiling with your hands. Lift the gaze, lift the chest. Exhale, hands the heart space around the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, to reach the arms up high, open up the heart, gaze up. Exhale, to round. All right, let's go for one more, inhale. Exhale to round. And last time, reaching the arms above the head. And then this time we're going to interlace the hands behind the lower back. Inhale to open up the heart space, gaze up. Let's take two to three breaths here, squeezing the shoulder blades together, squeezing the lower ribs in. And then you can either stay here or bring your chin into your chest, hollow the lower belly and try to bring the crown of your head down to the floor as you lift your arms up towards the sky. So a little bit of a stretch in the outer hips here, big stretch in the shoulders. Add one more breath. And then slowly making your way back up. And we're going to take a little twist to the right. Left hand can come on the right knee. Right fingertips can be on the mat behind you, or you can bring your hand to your shoulder. Make a big circle up with your right elbow, back and down, and just stay here with the hand on the shoulder. Whatever you feel more comfortable with, or extend that arm and bring the fingertips to the ground. And on your inhale, unwind. Right hand comes on the left knee. Left fingertips can come to the left shoulder. Big circle up, 
back and down, either keeping that elbow bent or extending the arm, bringing the left fingertips down to the floor and looking over your left shoulder. Each inhale, opening up the chest even more, each exhale to twist deeper. On your next inhale, unwind. Let's roll over the shins and come into high plank. And in here you can do a little bit of a rock back and forth if that feels good. And on your next exhale, we're going to drop the right knee down, drop your left heel, inhale to reach the left arm up and over your left ear. Stretch, maybe bring your right toes closer to your right wrist and open up the heart to the sky, only if that feels good and you don't feel any compression in your lower back. And one more breath here. And then on your exhale, look down, bring your right toes back so that they point towards your left foot. Left hand comes on the mat underneath your left shoulder. And then let's step the right foot back. Left knee grounds down, right heel grounds down, right arm reaches up. Let's reach the right arm over the right ear and you can stay here, finding a nice side stretch. Or your left toes can point towards your left wrist. Right toes can point towards the back of the mat and you can open up your heart space to the ceiling. And two more breaths. On your next exhale, left toes swivel all the way back so they point towards the back of your mat. Step your left foot back, high plank. Inhale here, exhale, let's drop both knees. Bend the elbows, lower your chest and chin down to the mat. Take one breath here. And then on your next inhale, untuck your toes, slide through baby cobra. Exhale to lower. Let's bring the fingertips off the mat, point your elbows up towards the ceiling. On an inhale, lift from the upper back. Open up the chest. Exhale to lower down, engage those back muscles. Inhale again, lifting from the upper back. Exhale to lower. One more, inhale to lift. Hold here, exhale, let's drop the right shoulder down, look over your left shoulder and hold. And on your next inhale, come back up to a kind of high cobra. Exhale, lower the left shoulder down. Look over the right shoulder and hold. And on your next inhale, lift your chest back up. Exhale to lower down. Tuck your toes, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Let's come all the way to downward facing dog. All right, so it's your first down dog. You can keep your knees bent. You can move around, walking it out. Whatever feels good for you right now. So depending on if you feel super stiff or really limber, you might want to take a moment to stretch. And then we're going to separate the feet a little bit wider than you normally would and maybe bring them a little bit closer to your hands. Let's bring all the weight into the left hand. All five fingers of the left hand are pressing down into the mat. And then the right arm reaches underneath the body and across for the outside of the left leg. So that can be the calf or lower down, the ankle maybe, wherever you can reach. Inhale here with a straight right arm. Exhale, bend the right elbow and look underneath your left shoulder. And hold. Keep sending the hips back and up. Keep pressing your chest down, trying to open up the heart space here. And one more breath. 
On your next inhale, the right hand comes back to downward facing dog. Let's reach the left arm underneath and across the body for the outer, the outside of the right leg. Inhale here. Exhale, bend the left elbow, twist to look under your right shoulder. And the key here is to really engage the core so that all the weight is not in your right hand because that can be quite a lot. One more breath. And next inhale, back to downward facing dog. Let's come high up onto those toes. Exhale, bend both of your knees. Bring your hips towards your heels, but keep the knees off the mat. Inhale, downward facing dog, keeping the heels lifted. Exhale, bend the knees, hips to heels. Inhale, down dog. Exhale one more time, bend the knees, look forward, step or float, your feet land on the outsides of your hands. So we're in Malasana Yogi Squat. Let's take a few breaths here, lengthening the spine, pulling those shoulders back and down. All right, and then from here, we're going to reach the right arm out to the right as far as you can. Right shoulder comes close to the right knee. Inhale, the left arm reaches up to the sky. Open up your left shoulder, reach up. And you can either stay here or bind around your right knee. Now, if you bind, make sure you're not rounding the spine. You want to feel like you're gaining space by doing so. So binding or going deeper into a pose doesn't always necessarily mean that it's going to feel better. So just do what feels the most beneficial for your body today. On your next inhale, if you're in the bind, release. Exhale, bring your hands back through center. And then the left arm reaches out to the left. Inhale, right arm reaches up to the sky. Exhale, maybe bind, maybe keep the arms open. And hold. Keep opening up the chest. And on your next inhale, open up the arms. Exhale, both hands come to the heart space. Fingertips to the floor. Let's straighten the legs. Heel toe the feet together so they're hip width distance apart. And bend the knees generously so your stomach is connected to your thighs. Let's dangle over the legs, grabbing opposite hand to opposite elbow. And just loosening up the body here a little bit, allowing your upper body weight to help lengthen your legs and lengthen your spine. Make sure your head is completely relaxed here and hanging heavy. Right, let's release both hands down on the mat. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Pause here. Right fingertips stay down on the mat. Let's bend the right knee and reach the left arm up to the sky. Right. And you can either stay here or you can bend your left elbow behind your back. Keep reaching through the crown of your head. You can stay here, or the right arm can reach through your legs, and you can grab your left hand behind your right hip. Right, keep pulling the left hip back. One more breath. On your next inhale, release the bind if you have it. Inhale. Exhale, left fingertips come down to the mat. Bend your left knee. Right arm reaches up to the sky. Either stay here or exhale, bend your right elbow behind your back. So the right hand is very close to the left hip. And you can either stay here, keep opening up the right shoulder, or left arm can go between the legs and hold on to the right hand by your, right, your left hip. One more breath. On your next inhale, undo the bind of the hands. Exhale, both fingertips come down to the mat. Fold forward. High mountain. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, let's open up the chest. So cactus the arms or even extend them out. Squeeze the glutes. Press the hips forward. 
Engage the thighs, hold. And then exhale, let's interlace the hands at the lower back. Inhale to open up the heart. Exhale to fold forward. And hold here. On your next exhale, release your hands. Take a deep breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, high plank. Inhale here, exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, and let's just hold. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the thighs, open up the heart, push into the mat with your hands. And then on your exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, come high up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, hips to heels, look towards the top of your mat, step or float, feet land to the outsides of the hands. Malasana. All right, now going a little bit deeper into the back bends, heart openers. We're going to bring the right hand behind us. So on the mat behind us, lean into your right hand, Push into both feet and see if you can lift the hips nice and high. And let's hold here. And now on your exhale, re-bend into your knees. Come through Malasana. And then the left hand comes behind you. Press into both feet, lift the hips and hold. And now we're going to move between the two, one breath, one movement. You can go nice and slow. So inhale, right hand behind you, lift the hips, open up the heart. Exhale, malasana. Slow and controlled, okay? Not rushing through things. Inhale to open up the heart. And if you need more than just one breath, one movement, please take your time. Right hand behind you, inhale, lift. All right, let's continue here at your own pace. You will really quickly start to feel the legs burning, and it just shows you how important the legs are in your back bend. If you're super advanced in your back bends and you are comfortable with a full wheel and you feel ready for it right now, you can do full circles. So the right hand comes down on the mat, lift the chest, bring your left hand down, and then come back to Malasana like so. Full circles, just doing whatever you feel ready for. And I'm gonna do three circles in the other direction and then we'll be done. So if you're doing side to side, you can just continue side to side or you can take a break if you're tired. It's super tiring. All right, we're meeting back in Malasana. Fingertips to the mat, straighten your legs, bring your feet to hip width distance apart. And once again, just dangling over your legs here. Now let's release the hands down on the mat. The feet are parallel. We're going to slide one hand at a time underneath the feet. Palms of the hands are connecting with the soles of the feet and the toes are in the wrist creases. And you can, I don't know if you can see from where you are, but you can wiggle your toes and put pressure into your wrist creases to massage the wrists. All right, and keep straightening the legs, lifting the hips, reaching the chest forward. And let's release one hand at a time. Deep breath in, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. High mountain, rise up, inhale. 
exhale, interlace your hands at the base of your spine. Breathe in to open up the heart. Breathe out to fold. Release the hands down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back, high plank. Now let's come into side plank on the right side. Your left foot can be in front of the right or stacked on top. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Let's slowly bend this left knee, bringing the left knee as close as possible to your left shoulder. Hold. Maybe left piece fingers hold on to the left big toe. Maybe straighten your left leg and hold. All right, wherever we are, let's release that left leg, bend the left knee, step the left foot behind your right leg, come into wild thing, inhale. On your next exhale, high plank. Same thing, other side. Side plank on the left hand, right arm reaches up. Let's slide the right foot along the left leg, bringing the right knee up as close as possible to the right shoulder. Maybe right piece fingers hold on to the right big toe. Maybe extend the right leg up. Let's release, whoops, <laughs> hold. Bend the right knee, step it behind your left leg, come into wild thing. On your next exhale, come back to high plank. Inhale here, exhale, drop your knees down. Bend the elbows, drop your chest and chin. Slide through baby cobra, and then child's pose, exhale. That forehead comes down on the mat, close your eyes, notice how you're feeling. Notice the rhythm of your breath the rhythm of your heartbeat. Slowly we're going to sit up on our knees. So you can just walk your hands back towards your knees. If you have something behind you, like me, you can make your way forward so you're more in the middle of the, your mat. We're going to come into camel pose. So from here, we're just going to lift the hips off the heels. And now you decide whatever you want to do. So either you can keep your knees close together, which is a little bit harder, or you can separate them, maybe a little bit wider than hip width distance. And you can tuck your toes. Let's place the hands on the lower back. Super important here, the legs. We want to squeeze the glutes, press the hips forward, and then lift the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together to support your back. And you can stay here for sure. You can stay here, or if you feel like you have loads of space, you can maybe bring one hand at a time down onto your ankles. But making sure you're really lifting your chest. So if you feel like you're crunching in your lower back, then you've gone a little bit too far. You need to lift more. And then to come out, one hand at a time on the lower back, lift your chest, you can bring your knees together. Sit on your heels, rest your hands in your lap, and just close your eyes. Notice any after effects. It's very common to feel a little bit dizzy when we exit camel pose, even a little bit like panicky, if that makes sense. So if you're feeling any of those emotions, just let them come up, let them pass. Again, just be open to whatever arises. And if it gets too much, you can always come out, you can always take a break. We're gonna do one more round. I'm gonna do a little bit of a deeper version, so I'm gonna keep my legs together and I'm not gonna tuck my toes, but you can do the same one you did before. Just know what your body is capable of doing today and it might be different every single time. 
Let's squeeze the glutes, press the hips forward. Lift, take a deep breath in, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Maybe drop the hands down to the heels. Keep lifting, keep squeezing the shoulder blades together. Keep pressing your hips forward. And let's hold. Slowly come out of it, bringing the hands on your lower back, lifting the chest. Once again, just sitting on your heels, closing your eyes, resting your hands in your lap. And deep breaths here, observing the after effects of the shape. All right, now we're going to come onto our backs. So you can just walk your knees towards the top of the mat, roll over your shins, and we're gonna come all the way down to the back. And bringing your feet close to your body, and we're just going to take either one bridge or wheel. So feet hip width distance apart. Either you can just lift into your bridge pose and hold here or hands can come on the outsides of your ears, elbows squeezed together, and you can lift up into full wheel. And here I invite you to play around. I love rocking back and forth. It's a really nice chest opener, but whatever you feel you want to do. And remember, you can always be in bridge, you can even be in constructive rest with the hips on the floor. Slowly lowering down, tucking the chin if you're in wheel, and then one vertebra at a time, lowering all the way down to the mat, knocking the knees together, maybe just knocking them side to side. And if you need to, roll out the wrists. It feels really good after wheel. And we're going to bring both knees into the chest for a twist. Let's allow both knees to simply fall over to the right. Left arm reaches out to the left. Try to keep both of your shoulders grounded here. Maybe look over your left shoulder. It's always nice to do some twists after back bends to reset the spine. And again, just notice how you feel. Heart openers can bring up a lot. Not only are they physically, um, yeah, they're physically strong poses, but they also can bring up a lot of emotions. So just try to stay aware of whatever you're feeling and just noticing what the experience is like for you today. Slowly make our way back through center. And then both knees fall over to the left. Right arm extends out to the right and you can look straight up or over your right shoulder. Slowly coming back through center. Let's take a happy baby. So we want to flatten the back down on the mat just to kind of counteract all those back bends that we've done. So really pull your tailbone down, pull your shoulder blades down. You can even stay flat here, so without moving, or if you want, you can add a little bit of side to side swaying, uh, rocking is the more correct term. 
Just whatever feels good for you. Also, if you want to give those legs a stretch, extending them out to the sides, you can feel free to do that too. And so I'm a very strong believer that none of us are the same, so we all need slightly different things or completely different things sometimes. So if I'm cueing something and it is not uh, what your body needs, feel free to not do it or to switch it with something that you prefer. So it's always your own practice. You can always modify as you please, and I am only your guide here. Right, let's slowly bring the knees back together. We're gonna give ourselves a big, tight squeeze. I like to lift the forehead up to my knees, take a deep breath in, hold the breath and squeeze as hard as you can. Hold, squeeze tighter. And exhale, release. So coming into Shavasana, extending the legs out in front of you, the arms alongside your body, making any adjustments in the shoulder blades or hips. If you have any lower back pain, you can take constructive rest, bending the knees, keeping the feet wide apart, knocking the knees together. That is also fine, and it will release the lower back for you a little bit. Just letting yourself go here for a moment. And just staying open, noticing anything that comes up, noticing all the after effects of the practice, both physically and mentally and emotionally. And if you want to repeat a silent mantra or phrase in your mind, you can repeat over and over, I am open to whatever the universe has to offer. I am open to whatever the universe has to offer. And you can elaborate on that, or you can just repeat it. Any phrase with I am can be so powerful, so just choose wisely. Allow yourself to relax here for the next few moments. can slowly start to come out of your shavasana. Please stay here longer if you have the time. And if you are now seated comfortably, lengthen your spine once again and relax your shoulders. Notice how you're feeling. Let's take a deep breath in, reach the arms above the head. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. And this is your time if you want to set an intention for your day today. And as you go forth into the rest of your day, may you have peace in your thoughts. Peace in your words and peace in your heart. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel super energized for your day. And if you did enjoy it, please subscribe and leave a comment below letting me know your feedback. And otherwise, I hope to see you again next week for a new class. Thank you.